This episode of Soji Knows Best is brought to you by Audible. Hey, what's up, guys? Soji Knows Best here, here with my review of the iPhone 5, one of my most anticipated reviews of the year. A lot of people are wondering how this phone performs against the previous version and where it stacks up against most of the big cell phones out there on the market right now. So I'm gonna cover all the categories from the design, the camera, the OS, and tell you whether or not this will be a good phone for you. It's gonna first talk about the design and the hardware. Now, to say this phone is anything but sexy is definitely an understatement. Apple's done a great job with the design. They made it 20% lighter than the previous iPhone 4S. It only comes in at 3.95 ounces. And I'll tell you, my first initial reaction when I watch other people hold the iPhone 5 for the first time, it's, it's, it's kind of a, a surprise to how light it is. And to me, it feels kind of hollow, but in a good way. It's incredibly light. And also, too, they made it 18% thinner than the iPhone 4S. It only comes in at 0.3 inches thick compared to the iPhone 4S, which was 0.37 inches. And also, one difference in the design from the for us is that the back is not an all glass back anymore you have glass on the top and the bottom but right there in the middle you have this brushed aluminum backing there which is definitely going to be better as far as your drops and stuff like that and also all the edges on this new phone are kind of flush with the entire design of the device whereas with the 4s you kind of have that really sharp drop off from the screen to the edge of the device which really just makes it a lot more comfortable to hold in your hand now as we make our way around the device most of the buttons are in the same positions as they were before but one thing you will notice is that the headphone jack is now moved to the bottom of the device and now to the right of the headphone jack you now find the new lightning connector port which is replacing the old 30 pin dock connector port which apple has been using for a lot of years now so this thing is smaller it's reversible too so it doesn't matter how you stick it in just stick it in and you're good to go um, and that's a really good thing to to be able to do and then to the right of that you will find the speaker which is improved as well and i will tell you that the speaker is a lot louder than it was on the iphone 4s and speaking of sound apple is also throwing in their new ear pods which is going to be shipping with every single iphone and i put up my own separate review of these ear pods on my youtube channel so you want to see how these things actually sound go check that video out but it's a nice addition to have with the new iPhone. And this new iPhone will be coming in two different color combinations. The first one will be black and slate, and the second one will be white and silver. And both of them have their own little personality, so I really do like the different colors, how they look on this new iPhone. But it seems like the black slash slate is the most popular option. And now it's going to talk about the screen. All the previous iPhones have been rocking a 3.5 inch screen. With this new iPhone 5, Apple has made it a 4 inch screen now. And one thing to do to note is that it's not wider than the previous iPhones. All it is is taller. So that does make for a different experience. And it has a resolution of 1136 by 640. And it has 326 PPI, which stands for pixels per inch. So this is still a retina display, but it is better than the iPhone 4S screen because it has 44% better color saturation and just it's overall brighter than the iPhone 4S. And I found you get the biggest advantage of using this taller screen not because you have an extra row of applications but if you're playing a gaming application that requires you to have one thumb on the screen to control the joystick and one thumb to control the buttons you, it, it doesn't feel like you're kind of you know, missing out on a lot of the action because your thumbs are taking up a lot of space because it is wider you have a lot more room and a lot more visual uh, space there for the particular game and plus too now you can watch videos in full widescreen and take up the entire screen instead of having the letterbox so that's really the biggest advantage of this screen and that's going to see what's going on the inside of the phone and see how this thing performs. And now this phone does have full LTE support on Sprint, AT&T, and Verizon. And I did a couple speed tests on the AT&T and Verizon versions of this new iPhone 5. And I was pretty impressed with the speeds. It's right up there with some of the best LTE speed that you can get on any type of mobile device right now. And this new phone is also packing a dual core A6 processor alongside one gigabyte of RAM. And when I did a couple of performance tests against the iPhone 4 and the Samsung Galaxy S3 using the Geekbench application, I did find that this iPhone 5 clearly beat both of those devices and all the tests I was able to throw at it. So this thing is a screamer. As far as the battery is concerned, Apple says you'll be able to get about eight hours of talk time, eight hours of internet browsing using LTE, 10 hours of video playback, about 40 hours of audio playback, and 225 hours of standby time. In my personal experience, I found the battery to be slightly better than the iPhone 4 Edge, which isn't a bad thing because they added LTE and a couple things that drain your battery a little bit more. And that's going to talk about the cameras. Now on the back, you will find an 8 megapixel rear facing camera that can record 1080p video at 30 frames per second. And a couple things that are new with this rear facing camera is that one, the lens itself is not glass, it's actually sapphire crystal, which is going to be a lot clearer, and also too less prone to scratches. And now because of the new iOS 6 software, photo capture is now 40% faster, so you can take a lot of pictures back to back very quickly. And now you can also take pictures while you're recording video at the same time. And now the front facing camera which is now centered directly on the front of the device is now a FaceTime HD camera which can take 1.2 megapixel photos and record 720p HD video. All right, so enough of the specs. Let's go to see how these cameras perform out there in the wild. And I took some videos and some photos, so go and be adjust for yourself.
So as you can see, the cameras on this new iPhone 5 are definitely improved over the iPhone 4S, but also too, they stack up very nicely against some of the best camera phones out there on the market right now. And that's going to move on to the software, and by software, I mean iOS 6. So Apple says iOS 6 boasts over 200 new features, and I will say that it did pack in a good amount of new features that will make your phone an overall better experience than iOS 5. Now, some of those new features are to be able to send a custom message to somebody who's calling you and you don't want to take the call right then, or you can't take the call, you can reply back with a message, or you can have their phone actually remind you in an hour to call that person back and also too now it does have VIP mail so you have a favorite list of people that you want to see their mail first you can set up a VIP mail folder which works great and now you have FaceTime over a cellular connection depending on your carrier and deeper Facebook integration as well you can now send a, uh, a status update to your Facebook account via Siri so overall iOS 6 has a bunch of cool new features but also too it does have a couple shortcomings as well one of the first thing is going to be maps because a lot of people are having problems with the maps not being as accurate as it could it has a couple good things with the 3d flyover and I, and I love the turn by turn navigation that's in the apps again being a few years late to the game as far as some other os's out there but maps overall definitely has some work to be done it can probably take a couple of years at least for their maps to get up to the google Maps standard which they got rid of and then for me the big negative is that i feel that ios 6 is just a little too safe and i think a lot of people just feel like apple could have did more you just felt wanting more from ios 6 you have some very awesome hardware but the os doesn't seem to be pushing that hardware to the limit like it should be and apple should be taking a little bit more chances and they just really incorporated some of the cool things that people are doing in the jailbreaking community we've been asking this for a long time i think ios 6 could have been a lot better so overall ios 6 solid update some really good useful features siri is better but definitely they could have been a lot more to it that apple could have done to it wrap up my review of the iPhone 5. So where does this iPhone stand in this cell phone market? But this phone definitely is up there in one and two as far as the smartphone game right up there next to this best Android alternative which is the Samsung Galaxy S3. So Apple has done all the necessary updates on the inside by making this phone twice as fast but really went the extra mile with the design to make it thinner, to make it lighter, to make the screen bigger but also more useful. And all this results into the iPhone 5 being a very solid complete all around phone that does a lot of things very well. And again the biggest negative with this iPhone 5 comes with the software with iOS 6. Don't get me wrong, it's very solid, has a lot of new enhancements and features to it, but you just kind of get the feeling that Apple could have went a little bit further with iOS 6 on this iPhone 5, especially with the hardware that is packing on this new phone. But all that being said, this new iPhone 5 is a very solid phone. If you are going to be getting it, I don't think a lot of people have been disappointed with it who actually own it. But if you are debating upgrading from the iPhone 4S to the iPhone 5, one thing to note is that the software is identical on both of the devices. The iPhone 5 doesn't have any new features that this iPhone 4S doesn't have. So that's one thing to note. Really, you'll be wanting to upgrade because of the hardware and because it is thinner because it is lighter because the cameras are better that's enough for you to upgrade from the 4s to the 5 do it you won't be disappointed so anyway guys this about sums up my review of the iphone 5 but before we head out here it's going to take one let's look at our sponsor for this video and today's sponsor is Audible, which is the leading provider for downloadable audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. You can download these books on your cell phone, your tablet, your computer, almost anything if you want to listen to it while you're on the go. They have over 100,000 different titles from different genres like science fiction and thrillers and comedies. And you can download a book like one of my favorite books that I downloaded was the biography of Steve Jobs. You can actually get that from the store right now. And you can get that for absolutely free if you go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash soldier because you can try out one free book right now. Yes, go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash soldier and go ahead and get the downloading let me know what you're going to be reading down below all right guys again thanks for watching the video and also too, i want to make an announcement that i'm going to be part of a brand new channel that's launching here on youtube very soon called tech feed where you can get a show monday through friday from some very popular tech hosts like veronica belmont john rettinger myself Richard Ryan and then Shannon and Darren from Hack 5. And so Monday through Friday, you're going to have a new show coming from all of us. I'm going to be in the Wednesday time slot. The name of my show is Soldiers Tech Battlefield. I'm going to be pitting two products against each other. So two popular tablets in the category, two popular cameras, two popular cell phones. I'll be pitting them against each other to see which one can come out on top. So again, go ahead and subscribe to that channel. Again, YouTube.com forward slash tech feed. Let us know what you think, guys. Again, leave a comment down below what you think about my review of this iPhone 5. And thanks for watching this video, guys. And I will catch you later. Peace.